Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man, Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. Are you ready? What's going on, man? We got some good stuff for you today. First of all, you're here for Detroit Drew videos. So we're going to talk some Detroit Pistons here in a second. But before we do, make sure you guys go to Lions on the Prowl. Uh, that was his old channel. He is now the Detroit Sports Room, a.k.a. Jim, for all the hockey stuff today. That will be live on his channel at 3 p.m. And I know he's got some stuff going on in the works. So if you guys are interested in the Red Wings, because I don't talk about because I don't know a whole lot about hockey, go over there, man. It's a great show. Go check it out. And then live tonight on 313 Jamo's channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's almost at 1K. Let's get him there. We have the rest of your Detroit Pistons talk, man. We got some good stuff going on over there today. Playoffs, Pistons, a whole lot of Pistons stuff. Alonzo Ball, that's what we're here for today. So make sure you go over to Jamo's channel to go and catch all that stuff later tonight. So let's go ahead and break this thing down, man. The Pelicans got eliminated from the playoffs and in a short amount of time. They have fired their coach, which as Pistons fans, we should know he's not a good coach. He was here for the Grant Hill era, and we should know he's not a good coach. So no one should be surprised by this, you know. And throughout the course of the past week since they've been eliminated, there's been some talks that Lonzo checked out of the bubble, that he wasn't 100% there. And a lot of it might be they don't think he's the right guy for him. I, I don't know about that. You know, when they were healthy, when B.I. was healthy, when Zion was healthy, they looked really good. And Lonzo's the good good player for them because the majority of their points are going to be coming through B.I. or uh, Zion. Those are their top two guys. And Lonzo's one of those players where he might not be a scorer. But even throughout the course of this year, he's shown tremendous improvement. Uh, a better shooter, more points, more assists, more boards. He's a great defender. He fit with them. There was literally times Zion would be sprinting, cherry picking, if you will. Zoe would get the rebound and literally throw him a full court alley oop pass. Like they fit. So I don't know if this is going to be true or not. But if it is, I think that the Pistons should take a very good hard look at it for several, several reasons. And no, it's not just getting all the Ball Brothers here in Detroit, although it, it could be a possibility. Again, with the lottery, we don't know where we're going to be. We don't know. But I think that if we do this, Lonzo will would fit with what we're doing. Again, Lonzo's not going to be the guy coming in here and scoring 30 points and being the superstar, but he is a starting point guard, and he will do a lot of the things that we need from the point guard position. Again, he's not magic like they compared him like his dad did. You know, he was overrated, and a lot of people don't look at him as being a good player because his dad was comparing him to some of the greatest players of all time. Magic, Jason Kidd, Steph, saying he's better than all of them. Like, you can't do that to a young player. It's not fair to him, but he is a good player, okay? Like I said, he's a great on-ball defender. We need that. If we get him, we can go out in free agency now and get a rim protector, Dwight Howard, JaVel McGee, uh, Hassan Whiteside, and our defense would be pretty good. A lot of the problem with the Detroit Pistons was our perimeter defense where we just let them walk in like a buffet. It was all you can eat. Run past our guards. You got an easy lay to the lane, easy dunk, easy layup. And then if we we're late on the rotation, you're going on the line and shooting free throws if you get a chance to convert an and one. So he would help some of the problems there. He's a great playmaker. We have a lot of young players here who don't have a person that feeds them the rock the way that he would. You know, Derrick Rose is a, is a great playmaker, but he's a different kind of playmaker. Lonzo's here for an assist. You know, Derrick Rose is a playmaker where he can get his own shot off. He can set someone up. He gets a lot of a hockey assist, uh, which means you pass it to a player, and that player passes the ball gets the assist. That's, uh, he gets a lot of those. Lonzo coming in here will push the tempo, run in transition, so that way we can re-sign Christian Wood, where he likes to run in transition, Seku likes to run in transition. They're going to get a whole lot more alley-oop looks, a lot more easy buckets, because he can find them. He, he's a great quarterback. You know, he's got great passing ability. And then he has shown improvement. Um, you know, when he first came in, his shot looked terrible. And he couldn't hit water before he fell boat. But he's tinkered his shot. It's now to the point where, outside the bubble, he didn't really shoot a whole lot. But through the course of the regular season, he was shooting at a lot higher clip. I don't know what his potential is, but he has a lot of great attributes. He can come to the Detroit Pistons and make us a better team. But this also gives us leeway in the NBA draft. 
because I'm pretty much on the point this year of taking a point guard. It's what we need to build them out. Usually my motto is take the best player available, and that might be the route for the Pistons because you can't go wrong there. I don't want to take um, a Halliburton and then find out James Wiseman is like the next Shaquille O'Neal or something where you're like, I can't believe he passed on him again. You know, I don't know if that, that's probably not the case, but I just want to change that mindset. And if we get a player like Lonzo, that means you're going to have Lonzo. You might have to give up Derrick Rose in the trade, which I, I don't I don't know what the trade rumors would be. Let's get that out of the way. But if, say, you say you're say you able to keep everyone, so you got them for dirt cheap. Because, again, you have to give up somebody to win. You can't just give them for nothing. But you'll have Derrick Rose. So you got your two point guards unlocked. You got Luke Kennard, Bruce Brown, and Mahon Hedley to play the three and the two. Um, prefer to be the two because they're all kind of small to play the three, but you can play small ball at times. But I think one of those three guys will be involved in the trade. Then you got Seku, who can play the three. Um, Seawood, Blake, all these guys are going to get some great looks from him. He's going to fit right in, you know, without missing a beat. Plus, you know, Dwayne Casey, a lot of guys, we rag on him a lot. He is a better coach than Gentry. He knows how to use him. He's a better coach than Luke Walton. He'll know how to use him. And then uh, Troy Weaver's going to give him some great assets in the draft because Troy knows how to draft. So we're going to get some good players. You best believe that. I, I'm all for it. You know, unless they want something ridiculous for him, like like the trade we seen yesterday where we'll give up Tony Snow and three first for him, then no, you don't do that. But that trade yesterday, that, that, I'm still laughing at that. I can't believe we've seen that yesterday. But, yeah, I would take Lonzo on the Pistons. I, I really would. He'd fit. And, you know, being bounced around like that, that can really hurt a player. Being on your third team in an X amount of years, but he's been in the league for what? Amount, he's been in the league three years. Playing on three different teams in four years, that could that could hurt him though, like mentally. But I think he's got a lot of potential. He does a lot of things that we need. Again, he's not going to be a superstar or an all-star, uh, at least this first year in Detroit. He has the potential to become an all-star, but that's not a realistic expectation from him. I, I think that he can come in here and be a leader and make us a better team offensively and defensively. He's got great hands to pickpocket people. He's a great on-ball on per, uh, perimeter defender. I'm all for it, man. But let me know what you guys think. Would you guys be willing to take on Lonzo Ball? Uh, who knows? The possibilities could be endless here. I think, you know, they're not going to want a whole lot in return. A, a player, a pick, move on from them if that is the case. But now that they got Gentry out, they might hold on to him. So a lot of this stuff was before they fired Gentry today. But leave it down in the comments. I'll be sure to leave them uh, a like and comment back on them on this one. I want, I'm curious to see what the rest of the people think about this one. So go check out the description, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, go to subscribe to Jamal Catch us over there for Above the Rim. We'll be uh, live on Jim's channel, too, talking some hockey. Check all that stuff out. And I'll see you guys later tonight on Above the Rim. And that's the bottom line, because Double D said so. Have a good night, guys. Peace.